Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Bibliophiles. Today I'm going to be talking about two books that were written in the mid to late 70s by an Eric Von Deniken. These books are Chariots of the Gods and The Gods from Outer Space. These two books um, were very influential in introducing the idea that maybe all of these gods that have, you know, of all these different cultures are not actually, you know, gods, but are in fact like space aliens who like have for some reason came to Earth and have influenced culture and society and so forth. And right now I'd have, and I just have to say is I, it, it's an interesting idea for a movie, but, uh, do I think this is re really real? No, not really. I mean, do I believe in space aliens, in the existence of aliens? Well, sure, why not? To quote Carl Sagan, you know, if there are aliens out there, if, I mean, if there's like 500 billion, star like 100 billion stars in this galaxy alone, and so many galaxies, like billions of galaxies in the universe, and if there's we are really the only life forms here, then that's an awfully big waste of space. But do I believe in this about aliens coming back, coming to Earth and like influencing our culture and so forth? No. Because, well, for one thing, um, well, why would they do it? Why would they, um, and, but most importantly is where are they now? Why are they no longer visiting us? Why are they no longer coming to this planet is there some sort of prime directive thing going or what further I mean one um, thing that he talks about is um, like how all of our cultures have like so many different common things like dragons and monsters things dealing with death and sea monsters in the ocean well <clears throat> that's because we all deal with you know mostly the same stuff as I mean, there's cultural differences, but for the most part, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the themes and myths are kind of universal. Like, um, you know, we've all dealt with uh, having to deal with death and the afterlife, so everyone deals with that. Every mythology out there deals with that in some form. You know, we, every culture has seen the ocean and thought about, hmm, are there, do you think there might be like some sort of monsters living in the ocean, like sea giant sea creatures like squids or whatever um, you know like um, or look, looking in the sky and, and yearning, yearning for flight and thinking wow it would sure be cool if we could like fly up there like maybe that's where or, or maybe that's an area where like our lost loved ones are because we can't go up there maybe I don't know and um <clears throat> Really, the only real difference is, I mean, theme-wise, they're all they all deal with the same things, um, or even dealing with fear of floods. Why so many cultures like Zeus's deluge and uh, Noah's Ark and all this other stuff deal with floods? You know, uh, <clears throat> it's because they're all we're all sort of exposed to the same stuff on the same planet. There are minor differences, yes, like um, mainly in how we interpret the different, we interpret each thing differently, which is why like uh, dragons in European uh, cultures tend to look more dinosaur-like, and while, di while the dragons in um, Asian cultures are more serpent-like serpent in, their, in their appearance, but for the most part, they all deal with the same stuff like uh, death, wanting to fly in the air, wanting to, or dealing with the stuff that's like all-knowing or all-powerful and so forth. You know, it's just uh, a matter of uh, essentially my, great minds thinking alike, or, or maybe, yeah, just people thinking of like different stuff and really only coming up with like minor differences, but for the most part they're pretty, si pretty similar. Because we're, like I said, we're all exposed to the same stuff. We are talking about the same things. You know, life, death, 
cult like death, uh, afterlife, uh, growing up, you know, these aren't like unique things that only like a few people, like they, they all, it, they all deal with the same things in a different way, but you know, yeah. But I still say this is a very interesting thing, to, but I still, but I won't, um, just, outright diss because there are people who do believe that the whole god space alien things and for if you're one of them then okay whatever good for you i guess and well <clears throat> we'll see who's right eventually but um <clears throat> yeah to, we see like space aliens chumming down here and admitting it then i'm just going to assume no <laughs> that it's wrong or incorrect but why am I talking about this but because well essentially like I said these were very influential works which became responsible for influencing and inspiring stuff like Battlestar Galactica um, you know uh, the first AVP movie uh, certain Indiana Jones movie that shall not be named <laughs> and and you know much so much more so, um, basically, it, it's an interesting read, and even though I disagree with it, I still think that they, Mr. Denikin puts his ideas in an interesting and kind of convincing manner, and I definitely give it a recommended, at least. Anyway, or one or both of these are recommended, at least, anyway. Anyway, um, till next time. I'm your host, signing out. See you later.